TechCrunch Plus on Oculus Apple Vision Pro. Airport runways are built to international standards, but civil engineers and architects must consider wind, terrain, and a host of other factors before sketching out blueprints. Startup runways are similar. Healthcare and fintech face different headwinds, which means companies in these sectors manage their cash differently. According to Healy Jones, who oversees financial analysis and planning for Cruise Consulting, average startup runway length was 23.4 months in January 2023, up from 19.6 months in 2019. However, the average can hide some important nuances, he notes. In a report that crunched spending, revenue, and runway data from more than 700 startups in health tech, fintech, e-commerce, and SaaS between 2021 and 2022, he found that early-stage companies are slashing spending on everything from office rent to hiring. Thanks for reading TC Plus this week. Creating demand for a new product is hard, unless you're Apple. There is a built-in customer base for every SKU on Cupertino's virtual shelves, and the upcoming Apple Vision Pro is no different. Despite its initial $3,500 price tag, writes Hage Jan Camps. Still, the preposterously over-engineered headset is a vital flag in the ground for startups, he writes. Spatial computing may not have a broad user base today, but with a few notable exceptions, the company has a formidable track record of willing entire ecosystems into existence. An onboarding flow that's entirely smooth is a great way to lose potential customers according to growth marketing expert Jonathan Martinez. But one of the biggest misconceptions when it comes to user experience is that we must eliminate as many questions and barriers as possible to be the gold standard. In this week's column, he explored three different types of friction and explains how to run lifetime value LTV experiments that drive conversions. Now that easy money is off the menu, startup teams must demonstrate that they are capable of setting and reaching strategic goals. Inexperienced founders often chase vanity metrics like social media followers or total user count that validate short-term efforts. Successful companies, on the other hand, use objectives and key results OKR to align their day-to-day -day efforts with long-term goals. Whether you already have an OKR process in place or are setting one up, this comprehensive guide by Julia Daniel and Carla Lommer at early stage VC firm M13 covers the essentials. There are many ways to approach customer discovery, but two methods dominate. Chasing the wrong audience wastes time and money, which is why Yousef Khan, partner at Ridge Ventures, wrote a TC Plus post with tactics for identifying qualified customers. Whether you're pursuing customer number 5, 50, or 500, to receive the TechCrunch Plus Roundup as an email each Tuesday and Friday, scroll down to find the Sign Up for Newsletters section on this page. Select TechCrunch Plus Roundup. Enter your email and click Subscribe. Unless the overall environment changes, a new report from European VC firm Atomico forecasts that startup funding in the region will be 50 2% lower than in 2021, writes Aheim. The adjusted market reality is here to stay, Atomico predicted. 2021 was a clear outlier with investment volumes and valuations now returning to long-term averages. Uh, that's no bad thing. Dear Sophie, why is there no movement in the June 20? 23 Visa Bulletin for India EB-3. Can't the Department of State slash USCIS track the interfiled applications between EB-2 and EB-3?
three and move the dates accordingly. Rebecca Shkutek interviewed three seed stage investors to learn more about what it takes to close a Series A in June 2023. Now that ARR isn't the North Star metric it once was, their answers varied. The goalposts seem to be moving a lot. It really sucks for a lot of people.